Well, it's still Plus Sports Special, right, and right now I've got uh, Adam of Young on the show. Now, Adam became the first table tennis player to secure a place at Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games after a 4-3 win over Tunisia's Fadua Garcia in the deciding match of the qualifying tournament in Tunis, but the Olympics got postponed due to the outbreak of COVID-19. Now, we look forward to the Games next year, and I'm sure Adam is also looking forward to it alongside other athletes. Good to have you with us, Adam. Morning. Yeah, good morning, Adam. I'm sure it is about um, 11.50 your time uh, right now in Spain. Yeah, 11.47. 11 oh, 11.47. Now tell us, how have you been holding up since the outbreak of um, COVID-19? It's, it's quite, it, it's, it's quite very tough, you know. Oh. For me, it's, it's, it's something I have never experienced before. Like, but the thing is, it's quite okay because now everything is okay and I think we can do our normal uh, activities. But it's, it's unimaginable, you know, like facing something like this. Everywhere is just uh, trouble, like a lot of people stress because of the corona, you have to go out with marks and all of that. It's quite stressful, but I think I thank God for everything. I thank God for life and I thank God that I am able to be alive today because a lot of people out there have contacted the disease, but we still go to our normal uh, training and do our thing and we are okay. I am, I am very okay and I, I am grateful for that. All right, tell us about you and the game of tennis. How did you get into playing the lovely game of table tennis? Uh, I started way back in, in uh, I think, 1990. Before, but then it was just something like I wasn't serious about it, you know. On my dad, granny's dining table, you know, we, me and my other sister, we, whenever she's not around, we would convert her dining table to to quickly play, uh, you know. But after a while, one of um, one man introduced me to to the the head coach in Cross River State. The man is um, Koko Basi. He took me to the stadium. He said. I can actually play well. That he has he has seen a lot of potential in me. Mm. That I should come and join them at the stadium. That is is it will be better for me to learn a lot of things because he has seen that I will I will do better. And that was how I started mm. playing table tennis. Now and the journey so far has it been a smooth one or with a lot of challenges for you? Uh, it has not been smooth really, but. When I started, it wasn't that easy because you have to face a whole lot of things. Like your parents at first, they, they objected to it. They didn't want me to play. But after a while, uh, they started seeing that I was doing well. And, you know, so they started encouraging. But all, uh, all the same, I thank God for everything. You know, I thank God for where I am today. And I thank God for everything, really. <laughs> Now, what's your take on table tennis in Nigeria? A lot of people think the sport isn't growing in the country, but what's the, I'd like to hear your own take on it. Well, the, the people just think like that. The, the game is growing. The problem is, you know, you, you cannot do it alone. You, the federation, they are trying. The ministry, too, they are trying because they have a whole lot of uh, sports. You don't have to focus on just a particular sport. The game is growing because we have a whole lot of young players. We have so many talented players there. But the only thing we need, I think, the only thing the Federation need, and even the Ministry too, because if everybody come together, like if they, if they can seek for sponsorship from the, some private sectors, I think it will help grow the game, not just table tennis, but every other sport, because we have a lot of talented players, a lot of people are on the streets. And I think this will help bring some, some people from the street because uh, so many boys are doing a lot of things and so many girls, you know, just because they don't have opportunity to be like others. And if we can introduce sport and seek for sponsorship and try to put everything together, I think sport will grow in Nigeria and table tennis will grow also. 
True. And you know, when we talk about sports, we keep talking about the grassroots. And uh, most of these legends, we look at the likes of Shegun Toriola, Harun Okwadri, and of course, for the female side, we see you um, and uh, Funke Oshonaki doing well in the sports. It, it's, quite, it's quite difficult to see the youngsters get out there, but what do you think we can do to revive the game, to revive the love for the game? The only thing we can, we can do is to support them, encourage them. Like try to fix something, like maybe once in a while, try to get a, a tournament, like see, look for some people who can sponsor a tournament, like maybe two, three months, because sometimes you can just practice and you don't do anything. It, it gets tiring, you know. You need to play tournament. You need to like showcase what you have been doing. Not just every time practicing, practicing, and at the end of the day, when the tournament finally comes, you will lose because everything is very difficult. And sometimes there are some tournaments they don't start in groups. There are some tournaments they start knockout, you know. And sometimes when you lose like that, you 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 will be completely devastated, and you might even decide to quit. So the best thing is to create tournament like two, three months. I know it's very difficult because so many things is happening right now, but. If, if they could try to like um, um, prepare some tournament, something like for them to enjoy themselves and give them little things, I think it will help the, the kids to grow and it will help the game also to grow. All right, now let's look at women in sports now because uh, over time when it comes to sports, a lot of us shift our attention to the male uh, from all sports, from football to basketball. But what can we do to give more recognition to women in sports so that they can be out there more? I you know a lot of women are, are very shy, you know, when it comes to sports. Some of them feel uh, they are not doing well and people will be laughing at them. I don't think yeah. it's, it's necessary. All of them need to know that sport is for everybody and their participation matters a lot. Yeah. They need to we need to encourage them. You don't need to look at them and feel they cannot uh, do it. You don't need to under, uh, underestimate them. You need to push them. You need to tell them that this is not just for men, it's for the women too. And you need to introduce them to some of these top role, uh, top female athletes because all of them, they started from somewhere. Yeah. They need to know that they can also get there too. They don't have to feel inferior, you know? They don't have to feel because I'm a woman, I cannot do anything. Well. You can also do so many things as a woman, and with sport, it's quite easy, you know. If you want to do it, just all they need is encouragement. If you encourage them, I think they will. They will do better. Thank you very much for that. And lastly, is there anything you plan to contribute to the sport that you love so much? Yeah, I, I, I was planning on um, getting a foundation, but... Um, with the pandemic, everything, everything just, the plan, everything is scattered, but I am still thinking about it because I, I want to give back. I want to, I want to share the little I have, the, my little experience I want to share with the kid uh, in Cross River State and, and every other kid out there who will be interested, you know. But for now, everything is on hold because I couldn't get back home. I am stuck here. I don't know when I will be home, but, but I thank God for everything. I think I will do it, but for now, I don't know when because I was planning after the qualification of Olympic, when I get back home, I will fix everything according to my plan. But now that everything has changed, I just have to, the, the, the foundation thing has to be on hold for now till further notice. Well, uh, that's a sad one, but I just hope that the pandemic ends uh, pretty soon and you can do what you want to do to give back to the community. But I'd like to thank you very much, Adam of Young, for joining us today. Thank you so much for the invitation. I'm right. grateful. Please continue to stay safe out there. Thank you. Yeah, we will continue to give our support to grassroots sports and, of course, our forward tennis. Everything that has to do with sports will give our support until someday soon we become great again. Well, thank you for your time, and that's much you can take today on a Plus Sports Special and Plus TV Africa. And I hope you enjoyed the package. I am Udoka and Joko saying please continue to stay safe out there. Remember, this is Plus TV Africa. The big stories live here.